man found stuck inside farm equipment for two days investigation reveals super rich Americans pay nearly nothing in taxes Biden. Fauci urged COVID-19 vaccinations as Delta variant now dominant in UK many of America's wealthiest pay little to no income tax Biden to meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin Vice President Harris wraps up Latin America trip two men arrested for assault after slapping French President Emmanuel Macron Harris meets with Mexican President in first foreign visit demand for vaccines in Oklahoma dropping NAACP President on what he said to Senator Joe Manchin First Lady and Dr Fauci hit the road to encourage more vaccinations five governors offering money to go back to Work Biden pushes trillion dollar infrastructure bill in location. June 8, 2021 Woman accused of killing friend with eye drops VP Harris heads to Mexico. The volunteers would handle non screening functions such as onboarding for new hires and management of security lines. Catalina Cuervo, who traveled through Charlotte Douglas International Airport on Tuesday, called it a nightmare. She never lived before. She said she had to sleep on the floor with hundreds of passengers unable to make their connecting flights or get an Uber to a hotel and then she faced hour-long lines from one side of the airport to the other. The agency screened 1.98 million people on Sunday, which is a new pandemic air travel record. We have been averaging over 5,000 transportation security officer applications per week, a TSA spokesperson said. In response to an inquiry about the memo, the TSA said in a statement that it is well-positioned to meet rising traveler volumes. As in years before, the agency began a concerted recruitment effort this past winter in anticipation of increasing volumes and is on pace with established benchmarks to meet hiring goals, the statement said. Load error U. S. Airlines have also struggled with staffing as air travel demand jumped fairly quickly from historic lows to approaching pre-pandemic levels. Customers are taking to social media to vent their frustration over two, three and four hour wait times to reach a reservation agent at the nation's largest airlines. In response, Delta Airlines is hiring temporary summer contract workers. American Airlines is temporarily bringing back several hundred of its reservation agents who had accepted buyouts to work through the busy summer months, and United Airlines is ramping up staffing.